Hello friends, I welcome you all from HLTF Tech uh, channel and uh, today we will continue our part 2 regarding the installation of SharePoint 2019 Enterprise version. In our part 1, we prepare the Active Directory and uh, if you haven't seen that uh, video, I recommend you to go to my channel and watch that video. After that, uh, come to this video and uh, uh, continue watching the part 2. Uh, that is uh, in which we will create the database server and we will install and configure the SQL Server 2019 Enterprise version. Okay, so uh, here is my uh, database server and uh, you can see that uh, in database server I can show you by uh, command prompt that uh, if I enter the NS lookup command uh, you can see that uh, I will enter the IP of this database server that is 10.20.30.11 and it is recognized in my domain as database server db uh, and this is my domain that is hltf.tech okay uh, so uh, i already have uh, entered the uh, uploaded the iso image for sql server setup and uh, i am going to uh, start the setup here by run as administrator uh, here you uh, make sure that you are logged in using your uh, uh, the uh, user ID domain user ID that is used for uh, your SQL server that is uh, in my case it is uh, SP19 SQL and uh, I already have uh, added it into the local administrator group that all details are included in my previous video of part 1 uh, in installation I am going to select the new SQL server standalone installation and uh, it's going to i'm not going to check it because i have on premise environment that is not connected to the internet uh, i will ignore this because it's not connected to the internet and it is going to give an error that windows update service is not available you can ignore it if you also have no internet connection on your environment so <clears throat> in install setup file uh, the setup file will be installed after that uh, you have to mention the enter product key okay so after entering the product key uh, you can see that uh, I accept the license terms and uh, I click continue after that in uh, SharePoint I only need the database engine service uh, to run and uh, I'm going to install the setup in my E drive. Okay, so let me show you where is my E drive. This is my E drive. All the Microsoft SQL setup will be installed here. You can also leave it default, but I recommend you to install it in a uh, separate environment, a separate drive, so that uh, it may not crash with your uh, along with your operating system. So wonderful. Uh, I'm going to uh, leave other things at default and after that i will click next it's going to wait for some seconds okay uh, i'm going to leave the default install that is ms sql server i don't need to change it i will click next and it's asking me to please wait because it's validating the all the settings that i'm doing okay now in this step you know that uh, I have two services here SQL Server Agent and SQL Do uh, Server Database Agent. <coughs> I want that uh, both of these services should be run by uh, my uh, SP19 SQL domain uh, ID. Uh, so I am going to enter this. This ID will be used to connect the SharePoint application with the database. So HLTF is my domain. I'm going to set it. For the third one, you should leave it uh, blank because it's already disabled and it does not affect your any settings or functioning. So I'm going to enter the mix mode because in mix mode you have a, a separate ad, a system administrator that it that is SA. If your uh, server becomes uh, disconnected from the domain, you can still access your database using your SA account. Furthermore, for uh, domain SQL Server Administrator, I am going to add uh, current user. 
I am also going to add uh, SP19 admin. Uh, that will be the admin of uh, my application and uh, form. So these two users will serve as SQL Server administrators. And in data directories, uh, all the data will be saved. So what I'm going to do, I have a separate drive for database drive that is H. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to set it to H. And I am going to leave it. Uh, user database directory will be H. User database log directory, backup directory. Okay. So I recommend you for larger organization that you keep the drives for logs and database separately. Uh, furthermore, temp data uh, DB files must also be in a separate drive if you are uh, configuring a very large uh, SharePoint environment for larger organizations for small or testing purpose you can leave it uh, you can uh, install it on one drive rest all settings are same so we will proceed to next and uh, here we are going uh, this is the summary after reviewing the summary we will continue uh, we will click on install and the installation will start which will take some time <coughs> Okay friends, uh, here you can see that uh, my installation is successful and uh, all the log file has been saved. I, uh, you can, uh, you, there's no need to uh, review that file because it's, uh, my installation is successful. I will close it. Uh, so uh, uh, up till now, uh, I have uh, installed the SQL server and what I need to do now, uh, I need to uh, install the management studio that would be used for managing the uh, SQL Server engine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to install uh, the SQL Server Management Studio here. This is the offline version of uh, SQL Server Management Studio. You can uh, download that from uh, direct internet. Uh, it doesn't require any key or license only your SQL Server installation needs key. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to run it as an uh, administrator. This is a SQL Server Management Studio that would be used to install, that would be used to manage the my uh, SQL Server uh, manage, uh, engine. I'm going to install uh, uh, do the installation in this drive where I have uh, already installed the SQL that is E drive. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the path and I'm going to uh, change the, this path to this one and I'm going to install it. Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio uh, has been installed successfully and it requires a reboot. So let's restart the server. So guys, our uh, server is now restarted. We have successfully installed the Microsoft SQL Server. After that, we installed the SQL Server Management Studio. Now we will uh, look, we will log in Man uh, Management Studio. We will click on it. <coughs> Okay guys, so our server is logged in successfully. This is our DB server, SQL server uh, edition and this, this is the domain ID uh, which we have uh, given the rights. So now I'm going into the security and I'm going into the logins and in logins uh, I uh, I'm going to SP19 admin and uh, for this I'm going to change its uh, properties and I'm going to add uh, some additional roles that is uh, security admin and DB creator okay so that it is and same for sp19 sql 
I'm going into the server roles and I'm going to add a DB creator and security admin role. So these two are my domain uh, IDs SP19 admin and SP19 SQL that were granted some additional rights. I have granted them an additional rights of a, a security admin and DB creator. So guys, this was all about uh, creating the database server uh, for SharePoint application. Uh, now, if we look into our uh, installation steps, uh, in our base steps, we are proceeding to the installation of SharePoint 2019 enterprise version. For this, we have uh, already prepared the active directory. And in part two, that is this video you are watching, we have created a database server. We have installed and configured the SQL Server 2019 Enterprise version. So uh, in next video, I will tell you about the part three that is creating SharePoint application server with such feature. Okay. So keep watching these videos. And if you feel any problem while installation, uh, please leave your comment. I will be uh, excited to guide you. Uh, if you feel any, uh, feel any difficulty and also guys I request you to subscribe my channel and uh, continue watching my videos. I thank you all.